I hear people talking bad about the way we have to live here in this country. Harping on the wars we fight and griping about the way things ought to be. And I don't mind them switching sides and standing up to things they believe in. When they're running down my country, man, they're walking on the fighting side of me. Jason here with Forever Free Gunner, guys, bringing you another video today about body armor. Um, and I'm going to brag on it a little bit based on what I know of it and what I've used of it so far. Number one, fit and finish, the timeliness of it getting here, all those things are great. But before we get into that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. Um, like I said, I do this for free. I do this. I don't ask you guys to be a Patreon member or anything. This is purely just for me showing you what I have so that you can possibly make an educated choice on your next purchase. Um, I don't receive anything from any of these people. And if I do, um, I'll let you know um, beforehand. But I purchased this with my own money, um, $549 uh, for this level 3A, which is ballistics rated for, you know, 9mm, 44 Magnum, um, and then exotic 9mm rounds like the Liberty Defense um, 9mm, as well as um, the Ruger 57, which is 5.7 by 28. So um, pretty cool. And it's um, stab proof. So um, it has a I'm pretty sure polyethylene um, strike face on it. So that gives you that nice rigid, but still flexible surface, which um, makes it darn near impossible to stab through. Um, this is their concealed carrier and I'll put it on here in a moment. Um, and it has the ability to take front and rear rifle plates. Um, so you can do those in steel or you can purchase your there's from them. Um, I just have my steel ones, which are in my heavier duty, multiple threat caliber rated stuff that I've pieced together from other companies. This is the first system I've actually bought from a singular company. Um, and it's nice to wear and everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw it on for you guys and kind of show you right here. I'm explaining how it fits and how well the safe life system of sizing works and it does work really well guys i'm sorry for the audio interference guys um, i'm not going to put this on because it doesn't have body armor in it right now but this will take a hard armor plate steel or it will take soft armor plates um, has no side protection or the ability to put side protection in so it's just like a plate carrier, okay? Just like a regular old plate carrier. Um, this is from Vism Gear. It does work. Um, it is fairly concealable underneath a, a medium-sized coat. Um, that is like $34. And then about 160 bucks for your steel plates um, front and back. And about 160 bucks for level three soft armor plates, polyethylene plates. So th those are viable options for people that want to get into passive protection. Why? Because it's functional and it's affordable. Same with this. This is functional and affordable. Like yours, other companies that you'll go out and you'll spend for this plate carrier, you're gonna spend $600. So you're just spending $300 above and beyond what it's actually worth to get name brand, high speed shit, which this is high speed. I've ran this, this one I've ran for five years and it's still holding up. Now, have I ran that hard? No, I wear it to second amendment rallies and stuff like that. Um, but it's held all my gear. Nothing's ripped or fallen apart or torn. Um, 
I've jogged with it on went before my accident. Um, so it, it's had a fair amount of wear and tear in and out. Shit tons of in and out of the vehicle between rallies. Um, it hangs here from its shoulder straps without any stretching, ripping, or tearing. Okay. So um, it's quality stuff. There's some little hairs that come off this uh, Velcro stuff every once in a while, but that's just the nature of Velcro. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is a lot of people are really worried about firearms, ammunition, and things going on right now. But we have to realize that if you didn't prepare in, that, in the time that you should have prepared, there are other forms of protection that you can use that are uh, what I call passive forms of protection. And the most passive form of protection you can get is body armor. I recommend not going anything smaller than 3A, and I re recommend having full body protection. So that's uh, a wraparound like the Safe Life or a um, carrier with the ability to take side armor plates. So this is my 308 carrier, and it has both soft and hard armor plates in it. So uh, an example here I'll show you is the Vism. This is a level 3A rated plate, okay? It's a polyethylene plate, and here's a steel plate, which is your rifle rating. So this is three uh, level 3 body armor, and the way this would go on your vest is this would go on the outside, and this would go on the inside. Nice little sandwich. They both have a nice... Uh, bow to them so they'll fit to your side nicely um, fit to your side nicely okay uh, above your belly button and these are both your more affordable route to getting body armor okay so showing you that and now you know that that's what's in here but the bigger uh, shooters cut plate inside here but other than that it's good stuff guys um I'm kind of rambling and, and I apologize, but that's my spiel on body armor as of right now, guys. Go out and get you some while you still can, while it's still legal and affordable. And don't forget, God bless. Keep that powder dry.